Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. And we want to evaluate each expression. So if I was given this expression, negative 3 halves plus 8 fifths. Well, what I need to do here, okay, what I need to do here is find a common denominator, right? 2 and 5 are the same. I can't add these fractions. But I know they both go into 10. 2, 5 times 5, 2 times, okay? So I'm going to multiply this fraction here by 5 over 5, and this fraction here by uh, 2 over 2. And we know each of these fractions, 5 over 5 and 2 over 2, is just 1. It doesn't change the problem. But by doing so, we multiply across the numerator and across the denominator. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, and 5 times 2 is 10. 8 times 2 across the numerator is... <coughs> 16, and 5 times 2 is 10, and now we have the same denominator. So now we have negative 15 over 10 plus 6 over 10. By the commutative property, I, since they're addition, I can rearrange this to be 16 over 10 plus a negative 15 over 10. And we know that adding a negative is the same thing as subtraction. Okay? So if I wanted to subtract across the top here, right, the fraction would keep the denominator the same. We subtract the numerator. right? If the, yeah, we can add and subtract, the base is the same, so 10 stays down here, but 16 plus a negative 15, or minus 15, hopefully you know that now, is 1. And so our final answer is 1 tenth. So again, let's recap with our horrible circle there. Negative 3 halves plus 8 fifths, we had to find a common denominator, which was 10. So 5 over 5, 2 over 2, multiplied it out, got negative 15 over 10, and uh, negative, uh, plus a 16 over 10. Commutative property says we can rearrange that. 16 over 10, right here, plus negative 15 over 10. Now we know adding a negative is the same thing as subtraction, so 16 minus 15 is 1. We kept the denominator the same. Make sure you keep that. And we have 1 tenth as our final answer.